morning, y'all. It's uh, You Tuesday, Kensington Variety VIP Club. My name is Alexi Otts. I got here and there's a, a bunch of uh, pricing to do like on a Saturday. So I'm gonna be listening to you too and pricing candy bars. See you in a bit. I got the dairy order now too. So lots of boxes to unpack. The show may not be happening until afternoon. Be back soon. James is here. He heard it. Morning, Martin. Morning, Nick. Thanks for coming in on a, a U Tuesday. Oh, yeah, U Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Martin, you got a nice haircut, man. Yeah, thanks. It looks good. Yeah, well, I, I had to do it, so I just, just, just You were feeling too shaggy? Soul. Yeah, and you're feeling like you're, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel you, a bit more. Uh, yeah. I, I uh, Since I shaved my head now, it's free, and I do it like maybe every three days. Yeah, my brother also does it. That's yeah. my brother. So yeah. Uh, you know, it's just how it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for coming by, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. It's a U2 Tuesday. U Tuesday. Yeah, that's yeah, right, man. I'm listening to U2 all day. Uh, James just did a little dance in honor of U2. It was really goofy. Really? Yeah. Um, did you ever see U2 in concert? I don't think I have. Uh, uh, no. No. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Martin, are you interested in haggling for expired watermelon juice? Expired uh, You know this little Tropicana's? Oh yeah, it's a watermelon place. Yeah, Martin came by. He got his hair cut. He's gonna come back in a little bit. We're gonna haggle over some watermelon juice. He just said I uh, have the funds with him right then for that. Although, you know, watermelon juice, if it expires for too long, doesn't it turn into alcohol? Maybe I'll be selling alcohol in convenience store a little early. So when customers come into the store, I always say, have a good one. And they say, you too. You too. And I say, that's right, because that's what the band is playing, is you too. <laughs> Everybody, I know yesterday on uh, April Fool's Day, I, I played a joke saying that I got in trouble for doing the show and not doing my job here at the, the store. And it's funny because Magnus saw it. Magnus, one of my bosses, he saw that clip, and I was so believable on it. He thought that Mary actually did ask me to stop doing the show, and he got upset, and he was going to go talk to her. And he said he was glad he watched the whole clip <laughs> and saw that it was just a, a prank. But that's hilarious, man. I didn't realize it was so believable because uh, there were uh, there was quite a, a reaction. I didn't, I, you know, I didn't think there'd be that much of a reaction. Maybe one person would be like, "Oh no," but there were a, quite a few, a couple of people that actually sent me messages like, "What? What's going on?" Oh well, uh, I'm glad I have fans. I appreciate you. And uh, you know, it's, it's this quirky, dumb show. I just want to have fun. I figure if I'm having fun, maybe y'all will have fun too. But yeah, Magnus, I, I fooled Magnus. Hello? Hello, Vanna, Emma. Hello, Alexi. How are you today? I am fine. How are you? I'm very good. I just wanted to call and say hi. Okay, hi, hi to you. It's April now, eh? Yeah, I'm, I'm just what I was doing. Sorting, uh, finding out my income tax papers. Mm -hmm. uh, what a mess. <laughs> oh, oh, I know that you really take special care when you do your taxes. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, I, I need uh, to see what I get the receipts out. And what about you? Uh, are you doing yours? Um, actually, one of my co workers here at the store does taxes. His name's Manir. He's gonna do the taxes for me. He, he can do the tax for you, or he can? Yeah, yeah, my coworker here at the convenience store. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you otherwise? I'm so sorry that I didn't get to, to see your show. Oh, oh, no, no, it's okay. It wasn't my show, it was my friend Abram's show, and uh, it was sold out. Like, we couldn't have gone, because it, it kept selling out. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That is good, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And when your mom and dad come, uh, uh, I'm sure that they will come in summertime. And... Mm-hmm. My mom had surgery last week. Oh, what kind of surgery? She had a surgery on her hip. Or on her... No, wait, on her knee. On oh. her knee. Yeah. So she's... Oh, yeah. She's recovering, but she'll be recovering in time to come back. To come to Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. 
She was well, aggravated last year when she was in Scotland. She was what? She was in Scotland and she was going up a really high hill and carrying a, a heavy bag. And when it, were they in Scotland? Like, hey y'all, I want to apologize for the video cutting out during the phone conversation with my grandmother. I love her so much. It's always such a joy to talk to her and catch up with her and stuff. So my grandfather's birthday is going to coming up, and I think about her a lot this time of year because he's in 1986. She's been a widow for 33 years. She's been so devoted and loves him so much still to this day. I wish I could get that someday. We'll see. Well, Hassan's here now. I gotta close the show. It's been U Tuesday, the third U Tuesday. Hassan's Hello, here. Hello, everybody. Yeah, uh, we, you know, Hassan, you're a vital part of this organization. Thanks for watching. I know I'm a fool, and you enjoy watching me be a fool. I'll be back on Thursday for the Thursday haggle, and Martin's gonna buy some watermelon juice then, because he didn't come back in time to buy it today. He's probably going to get drunk off that watermelon juice, too, because that watermelon juice is a month old, and it's fermented like alcohol. So we're going to be the first convenience store to sell alcohol. Watch. Boom.